Good evening, everyone. Nigon here from the FX and IRA forums, along with my trusty assistant, Jedi Footman. He's uh, put his lightsaber away for some, uh, you know, force studying skills, so to speak. Happy uh, May the 4th, everyone. May the 4th be with everyone. And I am here with some very special updates. I basically now am proud to announce that I have released the Igniter R2 version. And this is basically a firmware update to the Igniter package uh, that basically has some bug fixes and some new features. And I'll go over what all of those are today. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I'll go basically feature by feature and then show what it is. Okay, so the first uh, feature that I added is actually a bug fix. And it was kind of a combined bug fix. I fixed the uh, bug where if you put zero in the config for your flash color, but the color was on before, it would basically take that color from before. And I also fixed the min color bug where if you set min color on your blade color, and you do a flash color without that blade color, it would still add it in. And so I fixed those two. And let me show you that. Okay, so this is Electrum, great font by the way. You should pick it up off saberfont.com. All right, so here we go. This is uh, fix the bug. So you can see basically my blade color is a uh, like a this uh, bluish color, kind of a cyanish bluish, and um, the fl the flash. This has a min color right now, so it's kind of alternating between these weird shades of blue. And then this, the flash will actually not have any blue in it. See, it's this yellowish orange. Let me hit the lights too, because hitting the lights is always fun. So you can see. So that fixes that. Now, this font, I'll go right into the second feature. Now, the second feature that I added was basically. Uh, the clash before it was always based on the the length of the clash sound that was playing well that got pretty long for sounds that had like the flash dying out for a long time and it looked stupid so I added a configurable flash link now a new pram called clash uh, lang it, clash len is there and so you can see the clash is the clash is way shorter and of course it's kind of randomly sampled around the value to make it realistic so it's not exactly the same length every time so you choose the value and then it's kind of randomly sampled around that length. See? Very good. I think it makes the clashing way better. So that's that. Now, on to the two most important features. This release, I kind of try to theme all my releases, and this release is going to be themed around colors. And so the next uh, feature I will talk about is the adding of colors. So before with Igniter you could basically do uh, you set a color for your blade and a color for all your effects. Well I kind of thought like mmm no you know in the movie clashing is always this orangish and then blasters have different colors so maybe you want to set your blasters to be a different color. Uh, so basically I, I allow you to now set your blaster color independently from your clash and lockup. So clash and lockup are still the same color because that kind of makes sense. So you can see this one is a green blade. I got like a uh, kind of a purplish blast, but then my clash is like that kind of orangish color. I don't think it shows up that well in video, but you can see the colors are distinct. So this gives you a little more uh, color options by basically being able to set those independently. And of course, if you want the old functionality, you can just set those two colors the same. Now, that goes to my last feature. This is a feature I'm very proud of. Um, so I thought about it, you know, mm, all I did was add like a linear amount, basically nine more colors. And it's like, mm, you know, is that, that's kind of less, you know, what should I do? to make that better. And then I kind of was thinking, like, you know, the idea of changing this was like the blasters are shooting at either a different color. But then I thought a little more. Well, maybe there's like actually like, uh, you know, 
10 guys shooting at you, and they have different kinds of blasters. Maybe some blasters are pinkish, some are reddish, some are orangish, some are even bluish, right? So you've got different colors of blasters. Or even the same blaster will be manufactured to different specs and will have some variants. So I came up with two new features. Uh, now that, you're, of course, your blast and clash are split, you need two of them. You need a, a blast shade and a clash shade. And what these do is allow you to, to set from 0 to 255 the variance of how much you want the color to change. So this way, every time you do the effect, like the clash or the blast, it will be sampled around the clash shade or blast shade, respectively, so that you get uniqueness. So let's do this. So my blast is a bluish color, but you can see, like every time I do it, it'll be a slightly different color. And this is because I have this this blast shade set to somewhere around the order of 60 or something. So you can see if you watch the wall, you can kind of see the color of the blue is changing. And also my clash, you can see that I've got this one set to around 60. So you can see that it goes from like an orangish to a more subtle orange to that's a darker orange, that's a whitish that's a darker orange. So you can see, and that was a little more reddish. You can see the color the color changes every time. That was a dark one, that's a lighter, that's a reddish. So you get the idea, it basically can change. So what does this mean? I added this to kind of make some variance so that way you know the color could change a little. But what happens if you set it all extreme? So of course let's talk about the low extreme, which is boring, but if you set it to zero, you have the exact functionality that you had in the previous release, which is it's always the same color. What happens if you set it to 255, you may ask. And well, 255, as I will show you, for Saber Cinema, 255 means completely random. So you can see there's reds, there's whites, there's a blue, there's an orange, purplish, that's a little bit brighter blue than the blade, purplish, orangish, whitish, it's basically endless. There's a greenish. And so this allows you to basically just get any color you want. So now you're not limited to some end number of colors. You can basically have something of the order of like, uh, it's somewhere, you're bounded by 255 times 255 times 255. It's realistically less than that. But let's just say you have a lot of colors. So I'm really happy with this. It came out really well. It gives you a lot more options. I think it's, uh, Definitely a first in the Saber world, and it hopefully will uh, put your Sabers to life. Happy May the 4th, everyone. May the 4th be with you.